We've just completed the left uh, eyebrow transplant, and what we're showing here are the sites that have been recently created. I mean, it's going to help uh, guide and show you the, dire the directions that are very important to create a natural-looking eyebrow. Um, most importantly, also, all the, the directions are flat. Now, start medially, I mean, show how that, that tuft right there arches upward and around. There's almost a, like a fanning shape to the, the, the inner aspect of the eyebrow that has to be recreated perfectly. As we go forward, you can see it starts to curve inward and go forward, and then it starts to angle, it continues to, and sh what she's showing right now is what's called a fishtail, and the angles actually approach each other as you, as you go forward, and you can see that they're pretty closely approximated in terms of the angulation toward each other, and that's, a, that's an eyebrow that's already been transplanted just a few minutes ago. Here is an untransplanted eyebrow, and you're just seeing that uh, not much hair there just yet. And just to show you what the, the, the blacked outline is the zone that we're going to transplant today and the intended uh, zone of transplantation. Amina reminded me that the uh, marking was done prior to the infiltration of local anesthesia. The reason that's important is that if you're noticing any asymmetry or uh, unevenness between the two sides is simply due to the fact that we've infiltrated anesthesia after the markings were precisely uh, performed.